I'm Kathleen. This is Kiara. She's pretty skinny since she went missing. She lost about three pounds while she was gone, but we've got her on kitten food right now, so she's putting her on weight pretty good. I got her when she was eight weeks old. She actually came from a friend's outdoor litter, and she'd been an indoor-outdoor access cat for about a year and a half. Uh, before she went missing. She's my little buddy. She follows me everywhere. She's got to be like on my hip and she's starting to get back into her old quirks of following me around. So I had let her out one morning to go play like she normally does. We live in a very quiet neighborhood, um, never had issues. Um, there's actually several other cats that live around in the area. I let her out one morning and she just never came home, which is very unlike her because normally she would be gone for, I mean, less than an hour. So I knew pretty quickly that something was wrong. So by that afternoon, we were searching the whole neighborhood, trying to track her down. I knew that something bad must have happened that she didn't come home because she's like, she's my little shadow. She follows me everywhere. We've got four other animals here, but I mean, she was the one that she followed me around and was always on my lap and um, playing with me all the time. and. So I definitely had a particular bond with her. With her missing, it was particularly brutal. I struggled with it a lot. My fiance started working at the anim our local animal shelter shortly before she had gone missing. So they were all very aware of like her missing and her description and everything. He was at work one day and they the cat had been brought in and one of his coworkers was calling the company to run the microchip number and find out who it belonged to. And they told her that the pet's name was Kiara. And so she got my fiance's attention and like started waving him over. And then as soon as she heard that the owner's name was Kathleen Green, my name, he, she was like, okay, you need to get over here now. We have your cat. So that was you know, obviously super exciting for him because all of a sudden his cat was here and he got to spend the whole day with her. I worked at the hospital as a nurse. It actually had worked out that I was in an office when he called me. And as soon as he, he said my name, I just had this moment where I was like, He's not about to just tell me that he found my cat. Like, like I had several of my coworkers, I even had a student with me that day. I just kind of like collapsed down onto the floor. I was like, they found my cat. And just like, just happy tears. Right? And the whole rest of the day, I was just on cloud nine. I had to wait quite a few hours to go home and see her, but it was worth it. Whether intentional or accidental, somebody got her out to the zoo. I don't know if she ended up in somebody's vehicle by accident or what, but our local zoo is about 10 miles away. They've got some barn cats out there, I guess, that she fell in with. The staff out there said that she'd been living out there for about four months, which was about the amount of time that she had been missing. And so she'd just been out there living with them, and the staff out there knew that she didn't quite belong, knew that she was a little bit friendlier than, you know, a normal barn cat would be. But it wasn't until, you know, a few weeks ago that they were actually able to catch her and have her scan for a microchip. Hey, Kira, that's not yours. Mm -hmm.